up for sale at Vehicle Max. We have a beautiful 2011 Chevrolet Avalanche Z71 package, silver on the outside with black leather interior, completely loaded up with factory navigation, color backup camera, factory power moonroof, factory DVD player, heated seats, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. It also has four brand new Bridgestone tires just installed. It has a clean title and also qualifies for Carfax's buyback guarantee as well as for an extended warranty. We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is their zip code. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. Four brand new Bridgestones. All right, let's finish going around the vehicle so you can see that the car has no dents, no hail damage, no love bug damage, no major scratches or touches of any kind. And we'll go ahead and get inside and get it started. This vehicle also has remote start, and I'll show you how that goes. You're gonna have to, um, vehicle has to be locked. Press and hold this little circle here. And the car starts right up. This is a really neat feature, especially in the summer when it's nice and hot. As long as you had the air conditioning on the car when you last left the vehicle, when the car comes on, so will the AC and it will cool down the car for you. The winter, uh, on the winter, the opposite. As long as you had the heater on when you last left the vehicle, when the car comes on, so will the heater, and when it reaches enough temperature, it'll warm up the car for you. When you're ready to drive off, just unlock the vehicle, put the key in the ignition, open the switch, and you're ready to drive off. If you change your mind and want to turn it off, press the little circle again, and the car turns right off. All right, um, the uh, C71 package comes with a heavy-duty uh, tubular running board. Comes also with uh, color coded fender flares, which is part of the C71 package. This particular unit has a roof rack with crossbars to slide up at the side of the rail so you can adjust your luggage up there. All right, the door panels are all charcoal black with a silver trimming around the uh, power window switch. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, screws control, uh, tilt wheel, power folding mirrors. Got also uh, memory seats for up to two drivers, heated seats. Automatic um, headlights that come on the sunset and come off at sunrise. It is a four wheel drive, so it's a select four wheel drive. Right now we have it on two wheel drive, but you can put it on auto, four high, or four low. It does also have the uh, trailer brake assist. You got uh, dual power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support. Before I sit down, let me pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. As a matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats door panels, headliner, or carpeting, and this note of smoke, so it looks like the previous owner may have been a non-smoker. Curtain side airbags, as well as seat side airbags. All right, let me get inside. I'm gonna start it for you here. Okay. All right, let's start off by, um, well, we got the navigations booting up here. Let me slide the seat back just a little bit. Put on the air conditioning and let's put it back, back down to maximum low. As you can see, you got dual climate control. Right now, I got the driver's side at 60, while the passenger side is at 74, which means that the AC vents on the right hand side of the vehicle will blow at 74, while the ones on the left hand side of the vehicle will blow at 60. All right, let's start off with the power moonroof. It is a glass moonroof, it is tinted, but also has a hard cover that blocks out the sun completely. There are two functions you could do to open the sunroof. You could vent it or tilt it in the back or you can slide it and that's what we're gonna do so we can get a little bit of lighting for the video. It's also a one touch. You don't have to hold the switch for the moonroof to open. All right. All right, let's, uh, okay, so there's your navigation. When I put the vehicle in reverse, you're gonna get the door slot. That was the noise you heard and uh, you're gonna get your backup camera. And that along with the parking sensor should help you avoid any accidents when backing up. All right, let's start off from uh, bottom to top here. You got your cigarette light adapters here for your chargers, okay? Power adjustable pedals. This feature allows you to move the pedals away from you or toward you 
about three or four inches which comes in really handy when you have a very tall driver or a very short driver this button here is to disable your parking sensors this one here is to disable your uh, traction control dual climate control like I said to you before okay uh, this is uh, does have a touch screen okay and we got a DVD playing back there now you can play a DVD on the navigation screen as long as the vehicle is in park okay all right, let's give that a chance while uh, while it, uh, the movie gets going. Uh, let's go to the odometer. Oh, there it goes. Okay, let's play the movie. All right, give that a second here. Okay, the vehicle has seventy-seven thousand zero forty miles, so it just turn over seventy-seven. Um, it does to the right of it have a um, that was a movie starting, uh, so I muted it. All right, uh, to the right of it you have a compass and also a outside temperature readout. The car is running right now. Keep an eye on the tachometer. I'm going to rev the engine. 5.3 liter V8. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see that the car is running and idling perfectly. And that there are no check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine zoom, no maintenance zoom, nothing like that. The only light that's on there is the seatbelt light because I'm not worried my seatbelt to shoot a video. Alright, uh, so we got the movie playing here. If you want to go to full screen, hit the touch screen there. And uh, I'm going to reach here over my shoulder here so you can see that the uh it's well right now it's some dark hold on a second give it a second here all right there it goes okay and uh, that's the same movie that we're going to be seeing uh on your navigation screen all right uh let's see here what else all right uh tell you what let's leave the i'm gonna i can the movie's still gonna be playing in the back but i want to play some music up in the front here and let's play fm you can raise the volume here, lower it here, mute it here, okay, and um, and then you got also, um, these buttons here are to navigate about your preset stations, those are the ones that you say here yourself, which of course can be changed, alright, uh, your seek button, this takes you to the next available station, the source button, this helps you navigate from AM to FM to XM to DVD mode, auxiliary mode, which is your uh, iPod port over here. Um, once you pair your phone to the Bluetooth, you um, you pick up the phone over here and hang it up over here. Uh, this is your mute button here. So you mute, unmute, okay? And if you press and hold it down, that helps you access your voice commands. Cruise control on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. At the end of the shifter lever, you have your towing haul mode. Press here and a little yellow wagon is going to come on over here to let you know you're in towing haul mode which is going to disable the overdrive and make your transmission shift a little differently in order to adjust for the extra cargo load. To turn it off, press the button again, the yellow wagon goes away and you're back into normal shifting. On the shifter column itself, also, uh, lever itself, you also have a plus and minus that is for your uh, manual shifting mode. And I'm going to show you how that goes. Reverse, neutral, drive and that's how you're going to drive it 99% of the time but if you want to make a shift manually go down to the M and now you see a one comes next to it so now to shift up you would tap up on the plus every time you tap it, it changes the gear all the way up to six as this is a six-speed automatic transmission if you tap it on the minus it shifts down if that does not interest you just push it to the D and the six-speed automatic transmission will do the shifting for you all right you also got an auto dimming rear view mirror that has a uh, sensor up here that senses bright light so if somebody puts their high beams on you it will darken the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision uh, this vehicle is equipped with the OnStar system and uh, if you purchase this vehicle from us you will get a 90 day free trial with the OnStar at no cost to you let me tell you what OnStar will do for you for example if you get into a car accident and any of the airbags deploy including the side airbags it will send an immediate signal to the OnStar center to let them know you've been involved in an accident they'll attempt to contact you to the car to make sure you're okay if you do not respond with a reasonable amount of time, they'll dispatch emergency vehicles to come to your aid. Also, if you happen to lock your keys inside your car, they provide you with a 24-hour number. You call that number, identify yourself. Once they know it's you, they can send an immediate signal to the car to get it open, which will save you a bunch of time and money having to wait for a locksmith and having to pay a locksmith. Also, if you have any kind of emergency, press the red button. The officer center will come on and assist you with that emergency. If you're lost and need directions, press the blue button. They'll come on and give you turn-by-turn -turn directions until you arrive at your destination. If your check engine light comes on, press the blue button. The outside center will diagnose the vehicle remotely, tell you what's wrong with it, and how to proceed to take care of it. 
They also have a roadside assistance and concierge service. For more details, visit OnStar.com. Up at the top here is your home link or universal garage door opener, where you can program up to three garages or gates if you happen to live in a gated community. Got a set of map lights. Let's go ahead and pan over the dashboard. By the way, it does have the uh, Bose stereo sound system. Let's pan over the dashboard here now so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears, burn holes, or cracks. All right. Okay, now, you got our cup holders here in the center, and this piece is removable. So if you spill soda or coffee, whatever, you want to take it out, hit it with a hose, you can take it out and it goes back in. Now, you can put it here or you can put it here. Um, in the center console here where you rest your elbow, you got storage down here. And in here, you also have a USB port. And below that, another cigarette lighter adapter for your chargers. Got a set of headphones here. Your main glove box is over here. And then there is your owner's manual with this case with um, with all the supplemental booklets that you need and a CD case for the navigation desk. All right. I think we're pretty much done with the front here. Let's go ahead and turn off the vehicle and move to the rear section. Um, actually, I didn't show you the power window option here. Um, by the way, you got um. Shoot. There you go. Okay. They're one touch, the power windows. You don't have to hold the switch. You got turn signal, and they are power folding. Okay. All right, now we're ready to go to the back. So let's turn off the car and show you the uh, rear section of the vehicle here. All right, this vehicle is equipped with the uh, child lock protection. I'll show you how that goes. You stick your key in here, give it a half a twist to the left. And what that does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you got little ones and you don't want them to be able to open the door from the inside. Once you engage it, the only handle that's going to open the door is the outer handle. To re-engage for adult passengers or bigger kids, just do the opposite. Give it a half a twist to the right and this handle will start working again. Left rear door panel, perfect shape, all charcoal black with a silver or gray accent here. Uh, this car does have these uh, heavy duty rubber mats in the front and rear. In the back of the center console, uh, the uh, rear row passengers can control the stereo, they can turn it on, seek forward, seek backwards, they can change the source which is your AM, FM, XM, DVD mode, your programming which are your preset stations, they have plugs for headphones, and they have AC vents, and they have a video input. So if you can power it through a cigarette lighter adapter, you can actually watch it up here on your factory DVD player. In the back of the center console, you get cup holders. Uh, this is a five passenger vehicle, two in the front and three in the back. And they all have over the shoulder belt, including the middle row passenger, which uses this one. This rear glass is removable and you can tuck it back in here in the back of the seat. So if you wanna have that open, if you don't have a middle row passenger, you can flip this down and use it as a cup holder or armrest. All right, uh, let's go to the back. And uh, the cool thing about this package is that it has uh, color-coded these plastics on the older version uh, that come in like a matte black. They get faded and ugly. These are color-coded to match the car, and they don't fade. Um, okay. You got storage here on the sides. Nice deep storage down there. And these are lockable. You have to lock them with a key. Right now it's unlocked. Okay, all the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. Uh, you got your parking rear sensors here, two on each side. Those are the ones that beep when you approach another vehicle or object. Class 3 heavy duty towing package with the electric connection. They're ready to go for all your towing needs. Spare tire that looks like it's never even been in the ground. So still got the little white line on it. Um, this vehicle is also flex fuel capable, meaning you can put that E85 flex fuel that costs about 30 cents less per gallon, but it doesn't mean you have to. You can put also regular unleaded or premium unleaded. All right, um, it's your rear camera we were looking at it when we were backing up. Now this here has a power lock actuator, which means is when you unlock the vehicle, right now it's unlocked, so I can open it up, all right? Uh, well, somebody stepped on here, it's a little dirty, but it's in good shape. Okay, now these uh, panels are removable. You get handles here, pull them toward you on each side, and then you can take this down and pull it out, and you can take one out, two out, or three out, depending on what you need. All right, and this seals this area pretty good, so uh, if, even if it rains, you're not going to get a whole lot of water going in here. And now what I, mean about the, what I meant about the power lock actuator is, for example, right now the car is unlocked, but I'm going to lock it. And uh, now this is also locked. So when I hit unlock, the power lock actuator here acts just like the door. So you can access here, which what I mean by that is you don't have to worry that you have to come back here and lock it up. Just hit your power locks and if you have valuables in there, they won't be able to access them because it locks up just like your door lock on your, on the four doors. All right, you got more storage over here. 
And in here is also your tools and your, all, all that you need to uh, change your tire. It's nice and deep storage down there. Again, it's a Z71 4x4 package, which is equipped uh, pretty much comparatively to an LTZ because it's got everything this particular unit does. Uh, uh, the DVD, the moonroof, and the navigation are not standard in the Z71 package. Right rear door panel. So this car has all the options, by the way. Uh, I'm sure by now you notice that there's no cuts, no tears, no burn holes, no cracks on these door panels. Behind this trim cover, you got your jack. You twist those little wing nuts and you can access the jack. All right, right front door panel, perfect shape. These panels have storage on the side and bottle holders. And of course you get heated seats on the passenger side as well. Uh, you have a, a power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support, not only on the driver's side, but also on the passenger side. Let's go ahead and panel with the passenger seating area one more time before we conclude the video. Before we conclude the video, I wanna to talk to you about financing. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even got some programs for really rough credit. If you're concerned about the financing, you live a long distance away, or you simply want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net. Right at the top of the page, you'll see a tab that says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.